Hey y'all, I'm Joey. I'm going to take you through creating a zap for one of our most popular combinations, Facebook lead ads to MailChimp. We're going to go step by step so you know how it all works. First, we need a trigger. A trigger is what happens in an app that tells the zap to run. In our case, the zap will trigger every time there are new leads in Facebook lead ads. You'll need to connect your Facebook account, so just log in and make sure to give Zapier a few permissions. Once it's connected, continue on and select the specific Facebook page you want Zapier to look at. If you have a form, you can select that too. Before we continue, let's make sure we have a new lead to test with. And here it is. Let's see what happens when we test the connection. Let's take a look at the lead just to make sure everything matches. And it's perfect. We have the lead's name and email address ready for the action step. An action is an event that Zapier completes in the second app automatically. In this case, it's going to add or create new subscribers to a MailChimp list. Just like with Facebook, we'll need to add your MailChimp account to Zapier. Now just select the MailChimp subscriber list you want the Facebook leads to go to. This next part is important, mapping the fields so the information flows correctly from Facebook into MailChimp. We want the email address from Facebook to pull into MailChimp, so when you click on the button on the right, a set of fields from Facebook, including email, will populate. Go ahead and choose email. You probably also want the new lead's name, so let's grab that from Facebook too. Map out the name field from Facebook and click continue. Awesome, that test was a success. Let's head over to MailChimp. And there's our contact. We're in test list three, and the email address and first name that we mapped in the action step is all here. But Nick Champion is a full name, not a first name. Well, it turns out Zapier can do something about that. We're going to split up that name. To do that, we're going to insert an action step by clicking on the plus sign like this. Just like before, we type in the search box to find one of Zapier's most useful tools, Formatter. We're going to choose text, and then split text. This function allows you to split up a string of text. For input, we have to select the string of text to be split, which in this case is the full name field. For separator, we have to choose what to split the text on, and since the name is separated by a space, we type space here. Finally, which part of the split text do we want to keep? Well, since we want the first name, we choose first. Click Create and Continue. Alright, let's have a look at our split text. It's perfect! To pull out the last name, we're going to add another formatter step. Just like before, our input will use the full name of the lead from Facebook. Just like before, we'll split on the space between the first and last name. Only this time, the segment we want to extract will be the last segment. Once we finish up this step and run a test, we can now see that this is going to give us Nick Champion's last name. Finally, let's re-add that MailChimp action step. We'll fly through this since we covered it earlier. Once you've selected the list, it's time to see how Formatter worked. In the first name field, we'll use the output of our first Formatter step to add the first name. We'll do the same thing in the last name field, using the output from the second Formatter step. And once we continue, we can review the information being sent to MailChimp. Voila! We're now sending Nick's email address and his first and last names in the correct fields. Now let's run the test, and just to be safe, we'll check our MailChimp dashboard. And there's Nick, successfully subscribed. Now you just need to turn on your zap and wait for your leads to come rolling in from Facebook.